I'm Sir Lee Lewis, I'm the chair of Broadway. I actually think these two worlds are coming closer together, the worlds of business and the worlds of the third sector, because I think we're living in an increasingly independent society where people recognise that we just can't continually look only to ourselves and our own narrow interests. And I think this is a really good example, actually, of business and a great charity working together. The sad thing is, within a few hundred yards of this beautiful building in the heart of the city, there will be people sleeping rough on the streets tonight. So this is a world they see, but which they're not part of. And our job is to try and give them the chance to become part of that world again. I don't think any organisation of any size um, in the UK in 2011 can uh, operate in isolation from the society in which it works. If we operate, any of us, uh, simply in our own small world, uh, we will lose the sense of the wider society. Bruce Melazar from Intersuv. Fascinating, some of the things that we're trying to implement ourselves. So. I love the, the point about organisational focus. Um, I love the point around trying to act and behave in the way that you say that you you want to be. Um, with probably two of the, two of the big ones that I that I took away, and of course the two things around health and performance. Jane Newby from Britpec. Um, I would say it's been really thought-provoking, so for me it's kind of left me with a lot, probably more questions than answers in terms of the organisation, but a very healthy thought provocation in terms of taking back to the organisation. I'm Marcia Murphy and I'm the Head of Organisation Development and Change at British Airways. I think what is essentially relatively simple and logical is actually so hard for companies to do. It transcends climates. I think it's, you know, in some ways it might be even more difficult in good times to do the stuff than it is in bad. We'll be facing these sorts of questions, I think, in the next couple of months, actually. I love the way that events like tonight bring together, um, you know, charitable third sector activity and talk about it in the same terms as we talk about business. So I think that in itself is a very healthy thing to do. Sue Hall from IMI. Lots of ideas to take away, lots of things to think about and very, very relevant to all the things that we're seeing at the moment in terms of, you know, where do we go for growth and how do we leverage the most out of our people. And actually just it, a lot of the questions that were there were questions that we're struggling with and a lot of it does seem to kind of really resonate. My name is Kaveh Nafisi. Uh, I'm a founding partner of Philosophy IB. This evening is supporting Broadway, which is a homelessness charity. Yeah. What do you think businesses can teach people who are in those circumstances? I love the four minute mile example. So for many of them, it, it is that four minute mile, you know, where, where they, they just can't see their way beyond. And uh, I think business can do a lot in terms of that positive reinforcement and uh, the idea that it can be done. A lot of them were actually very accomplished at one point and, uh, and you know, various things in their lives or their circumstances changed which is not that dissimilar to what can happen in businesses. And the whole idea of how you react to that, how you, uh, you manage that, and then what you can do on the other end to get yourself back. I think there's a lot of lessons there for businesses as well. Howard Sinclair, Chief Executive of Broadway. It's a unique event and we're absolutely delighted to be hosting Beyond Performance. I think for me, whether you're in the private sector, the public sector, or like ourselves in the voluntary sector, you want to do your best. You really want to make the most of the resources that you have, um, the people you have especially, and have a clarity of purpose about what it is you're trying to achieve. So at Broadway, we try and pinch best practice from wherever, from wherever it is, whatever sector, so we can provide the best services that we believe vulnerable and homeless people need to help them back to independence. But running an organisation with 230 staff and uh, an employee engagement score of 79%, there might be something that the private sector could learn from us as well.